Yo, what's up guys, Dezo here, and today we're going to be talking about whether or not Daenerys gave birth to an actual dragon or not. If you've only watched the show once and didn't really pay attention in season 1, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about and probably think this video is crazy, but this is what I'm talking about. Tell me. What is it to tell? How did my son die? He never lived, my princess. The women say... What do the women say? They say the child was... Monstrous. Twisted. I pulled him up myself. He was scaled like a lizard. Blind, with leather wings like the wings of a bat. When I touched him, the skin fell from his bones. Inside, he was full of grave worms. I warned you that only death can pay for life. You knew the price. So what Miri just described was basically a dragon. This plays out the exact same way in the books as well, there's no birth scene, and Miri describes the baby in the exact same way. When George writes these books, he makes it so the reader has to think and kind of decide for themselves whether or not the characters are telling the truth. A lot of the characters do give false information in the books, so it's kind of hard to tell with someone like Miri whether or not she's telling the truth all the time. In this case, Miri is most likely telling the truth. There's actually a precedent for Targaryens giving birth to stillborn dragons. In 2013, George R. R. Martin published a story called The Princess and the Queen, or the Blacks and the Greens. This story takes place 200 years before the events in A Song of Ice and Fire. In this story, Rhaenyra Targaryen gives birth to a stillborn dragon. Here's the quote right from the story. When the babe at last came forth, she proved indeed a monster, a stillborn girl, twisted and malformed, with a hole in the chest where the heart should have been, and a stubby, scaled tail. The dead girl had been named Visenya. So a little background on Rhaenyra Targaryen. She was the firstborn child of Viserys I, and the only living child from Viserys' first wife. Viserys' first wife's name was Aima of House Aaron. At the age of eight, she was named her father's heir, and was supposed to be the first ruling queen of Westeros. Her claim to the throne was then challenged by her younger half-brother Aegon II, and that sparked the civil war known as the Dance of the Dragons. It's the story of the fight between Rhaenyra Targaryen and her half-brother Aegon for control of the Seven Kingdoms. Both of them thought they belonged on the Iron Throne. When people started declaring for one of them or the other, their fight divided the kingdoms in two. Brothers fought brothers. Dragons fought dragons. By the time it was over, thousands were dead. And it was a disaster for the Targaryens as well. They never truly recovered. The dance of dragons. Anyways, it does seem likely that Daenerys could have given birth to an actual dragon. So now we're just going to look at a couple assumptions on how this happens. It seems very unlikely that Targaryens and dragons actually bred with each other. Back in the days of Old Valyria, it could have been some kind of magic mixing Targaryen blood and dragon blood together, and that's what originally formed the bond between dragons and Targaryens. This is all an assumption not really based on anything, but it does make some sense. And that's pretty much all I have for this video, I just wanted to explain this to you guys and point out there was a precedent for Targaryens giving birth to dragons. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below, let me know your theories on how this is possible, leave a like on this video and subscribe for more Game of Thrones related videos. I'm trying to post as often as possible, but definitely there's going to be two videos a week, hopefully more. Also please check out the playlist in the description below with all my Game of Thrones theories. Thank you.